lightning fast one here today guys. I wanted to talk about what was a very, almost a very traumatic day today. A very faithful little uh, chewy eye life robot vac was setting about its normal business today and just stopped. Reversed about a foot very aggressively and stopped. Red light here, which should be green. Red, like this. Problem. Big, big problem. Couldn't work out what it was for a while. Long, 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 long while. Then, I did. After doing some Googling, got nothing. No useful information. Nobody really seemed to have gone through it before. Um, so, I figured I'd sort of tackle it and see what I could work out. Now, it does do this. It should. It does actually clean after that. For some reason, somewhere in the computer system, it's still showing the uh, your error. For some reason, I'm not sure. I still need to work that out. But it is functioning now, which is a lot more than what it was doing. After the first instance, I'd set her up. I tried restarting it. I made sure the battery was fully charged. Made sure the dust box was empty. It started. It had come forward about a half foot. Same thing. Come to a screeching halt, really aggressively. Come slamming backwards. Then come to a stop with a red light. Beeping, beeping, beeping. So my first thought was, I've allowed, been putting the poor little guy to too much work. I've allowed the sensors to get too dirty and it's actually showing that there's a obstacle where there isn't one. Gave that a clean, same problem. Flipped it over, thinking maybe could have some sort of an issue here with these, um, with these cliff sensors here or something. Something was wrong, something was going wrong, I can tell. Um, anyways, uh, I noticed there was a lot of hair floating around in there. I have periodically had to pull hair out of in between these little gaps here. Um, my partner and I both have long hair and we've got a puppy that loves to drop her hair everywhere. So look, I, I knew there was a lot of hair floating around so I thought alright, let's tackle that first. So I grabbed this little wheel here, I did notice there was a fair bit of resistance on it. Uh, I grabbed my nice wide little pliers here. Um, you can use needle nose. Um, but I don't suggest it, and I don't like them too much for this sort of application, just because they can apply too much pressure uh, on a, on a uh, I don't know how you'd say it, like a biking inwards action. You want to kind of, uh, you, I use these, I like these, just because they, they widen out enough that I'm gripping onto the plastic of the wheel itself, not the rubber, and I'm not going to sort of rip that out. Now carefully pull that out. I've already cleaned this, but this was full of hair, guys. I mean, seriously could not move, and it was just crazy. Really easy to clean, just wiggle it one way, wiggle this little uh, axle one way, pull the hair off that side, do the same, uh, and then it just pops straight back in, which is good. So problem one solved. Then I noticed, I thought, you know, I'd already cleaned this part today, just before use this morning, so I thought, can't be that, but I'd noticed these tabs, so out of just curiosity, pulled it out, uh, and same thing, this now popped out, and exactly the same thing, I've just pulled off an immense amount of hair from this, so even though I have been regularly cleaning the outside of it, uh, you need to regularly pull this open and give it a clean. Now, um, I did that, obviously, took that up, took, gave that a good clean, uh, and thought, well, that's a lot of hair that came off there. Um, this does go back in only one direction, so you don't need to worry about that. And this sort of just pops back in, and you're done. So that's that's kind of the main thing. As I say, I did notice a lot of guys on the internet with similar problems with all different models of the Chewy i Lifes, the V5s, the v, V7s, the V7s, um, doing slightly different things. Some are rocking forward and then spinning, rocking forward, spinning, rocking forward. I suggest it's probably going to be the same problem. Now we know they've got these sensors on the outside for, for seeing things. We know it's got the touch sensor there, it's got cliff sensors, etc. But they logically also must have sensors in the wheels to to pick up excess um, I guess drag or if the motor's working too hard to stop it blowing itself out so uh, I would suggest this is probably a problem that will happen with most robot vacuums with, with households of long hair uh, I don't think it's just this model um, short from that I have been pretty happy with this I should probably do a review on it um, I've been generally yeah very happy with it um, so, as I said, I, I just need to kind of probably work out how to reset the error codes. Um, re turning it off and on doesn't seem to help. I might need to pull the battery out or something, but it is functional. Um, and that's, I guess, the main thing because I'm not much of a fan of doing the vacuuming. So, yeah. Anyways, 
Good luck, hope that helps people, and um, see you in the next one. Cheers.